Okay, welcome. Here's a quick rundown of the main features of the linked test version. Deathmatch test. Okay, first of all, movements are standard ASDW as default. You run with shift. If you want to go upstairs, just aim upwards or downwards. You can also press the up down button to do the same. For example, if you want to aim below and go up, just move backwards and hold up. Fire with, with the left mouse button. Jump with space. Grab ledge with space. Go up, up or down key. If you want to go down, just down. Press down. Jump up. Okay, you can jump up there. You can jump here. Press up. Okay, that's the basics. C for crouch. If you want to sneak, hold control. Okay. Press I for inventory. To add new inventory, just click on a slot, select the weapon. Let's add uh, let's add a laser sight. First add it to the backpack, then drag and drop it onto the shotgun. Let's add some more grenades. Add some more ammo. You can add anything to the backpack, but on the belts you can add only specific stuff. Let's move it to the leg. Okay, let's get some cool look. And press I again. And you won't get these the stuff immediately, but only after you get killed and you respawn. So let's add a bot. System, add bot, the bot should be here. Okay, there he is, looking for me. Ooh, okay, I died. Now we should get the new weapons. Press Q to change the weapons. If you have more than two weapons, this little pie menu will come up. You have to hold it, and to change a weapon, just move your mouse over the weapon, and release Q. That's it, it's that simple. You can do it really fast. Okay, press Q, hold it, drag over the weapon and release Q. Press R to reload. I don't have any ammo. Oops. Shit. Oh. Oops. Okay, here it is. R for reload. Good that he ran out of ammo too. E, press E for grenade. To take it out. Press E again to put it back again if you need to. So press E. Now, throwing grenades looks like this. The soldier throws the grenade directly at the cursor. So if you want to Throw really close, just hold the cursor really close, like that. If you want to throw far away, throw it far away. Oops. I die, let me show you some nice tricks. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Press E. If you want to lob the grenade, just throw it high. Aim high, you lob it. You want to throw it directly. Okay, I died again. This bot is annoying, he's really good. Okay, press E, aim far away, and he throws it really quickly. Okay? So you can experiment with that, and it's really intuitive, so you should get a hold of it. Now, let me show you how to add another human player, which results in split screen. Press escape. Press join game and you get a split screen player. Now I have a Xbox controller connected. So I can use it here. I am this player right below here. As default, the Xbox controller I set to the start button to be the menu. 
and you can set the joystick controls here. A bunch of joystick variables which are important to set for yourself. Uh, here you set either the mouse or the joysticks. Here you set the controls. Now the joystick has some cool features like the hat button which can be set to move the soldier either fast or slow. So if you press this with the A button to change the control, if you move the hat button fast all the way left, it will set it to joystick move fast and you'll see in a second what this means. Mm. If you want to change sneak to a slow movement, just move it slowly. Okay, the rest is pretty intuitive, so you'll know what I mean. Press start again. Now the character moves really slow if you move the hat slowly and fast if you move it fast. This is a pretty cool feature for, for an Xbox controller. Press back for inventory. And that's it, I think. So good luck and have fun with this. Also for all those modern geeks, let me show you uh, just a little bit of the modern capabilities that is available in this test via scripting. Let's go to the scripts folder. Uh, an interesting file is, for example, the gun script. The rules rules artifact gm is the rules script for the game here you can set the class which you respawn as you can set how much points you get on de on death on kill on self kill you can set the damage modifier which is important you can set it really high if you want one hit kills or you can set it to zero if you want to just fight for hours uh, you can set the weight classes thresholds, you can set unlimited ammo, you can disable fall damage, also you can disable the weight class by forcing so and the bot file let's use bot cfg which is the default file you can set the name and stuff and these I commented all these variables so you might know what this means. Experiment with this. I, I don't know how to use it myself entirely. I just experiment. Let's get to the map folder. Of course you can make the maps by simply opening this in a paint program. Then run the game again. And the map will need to recompile. It might take up to five minutes. So, so use it wisely. Open up breakdown CFG, which is the, the default map file. Here you can set the environments, the ambient stuff. And of course the script file that is loaded on start, which is breakdown GM. Here I add via scripting respawn positions. You can get these positions if you enable debug mode with G underline debug one in console. And you can add a medkit. There's a lot more script files here, and you can just experiment with that. Wordle, uh, auto start and auto config are a place to start. So, that's all. Have fun.